Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to start off with introducing the bridal party. Allison Bauer, Nick Kilber. Everybody's got to one-up them next time, right? Stephanie Rose, RJ Kenny. such a beautiful evening. Alright, so 17 years ago, my family and I moved to a new neighborhood, leaving all of my old friends and everything I knew behind. We had been in our new house for about two weeks before my mom forced me to leave my comfort zone and make new friends. Being the shy girl I was, and still am, <laughs> I was having difficulty working up the courage to talk to anyone new. One night I spotted a little girl swinging on the swing set at the house behind ours. I can't even get it. Okay. <laughs> at the house behind ours. <laughs> My mom encouraged me to walk up the hill and play with her. For 30 minutes I paced back and forth, working up the nerve to make my new friend. I can't do this. <laughs> But as soon as I approached Maria, I was met with a loving smile and a friendship I now know would last a lifetime. 
After our first meeting on the swing set, Maria and I became inseparable. We did everything together and quickly. Her family became like my own. Maria has always been an amazing friend who is there to offer help, advice, most of the time unwanted, <laughs> and to offer help to anyone in need. In about seventh grade, we started calling each other blood sisters. This might not make sense. It might not be logical to most of you, but for us, this makes us family. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it okay. at you. <laughs> I first met Connor when I was a freshman in high school. One day in study hall, I noticed a cute boy with pierced ears and spiky hair in my study hall. <laughs> he was sitting next to me that night when I got home. <laughs> that night when I got home, me and Maria hung out as usual. And I told Maria about the hot guy that was sitting next to me. <laughs> More like stalking, and we found Connor on Facebook. <laughs> and as luck would have it, it was his birthday. So Maria decided she had to go for it, and she wished him a happy birthday. So for the next few days, weeks, months, years, <laughs> I noticed Maria staring at her phone, <laughs> staring at her phone a little more than usual. <laughs> Every time I hear Maria's phone, get a message, she starts to smile, this big huge smile, and that was known as the Connor Mobley smile, and that has yet to fade. <laughs> yeah, it has. After Maria and Connor had gone on a maybe three dates, Maria called me freaking out one night. She told me she told Connor she loved him on accident <laughs> when getting out of his car one night. So like they had barely known each other at that point. <laughs> so she was really scared that she had messed everything up. They weren't going to be together anymore because she moved too fast and he was freaked out. But we found out later that Connor actually said it back to Maria. She just didn't hear him because she was so freaked out about it. <laughs> so that's the story of the first time Maria and Connor said I love you. <laughs> From the moment Maria and Connor met, I knew they had something special. They complement each other in a way no one else could. Maria helps tame Connor's wild side because we all know Connor can get a little crazy. <laughs> and Connor helps loosen Maria up and actually like help her make decisions because that's her her weakness. <laughs> <laughs> they both demonstrate love in such a beautiful way and have helped form many other relationships, including my own, which I am forever grateful for. Maria and Connor. I am so incredibly proud of the relationship you have built with one another. I wish you nothing but the best and can't wait to see where this journey takes you. I've had a blood sister for the past 17 years and now I'm gaining a blood brother. So welcome to the family, Connor. <laughs> so let's all raise our glasses and toast the bride and groom. May you fall in love with each other more and more every day for the rest of your lives. Love you guys. Cheers. Wilson. Hello, everyone. I'm Austin Wilson, I'm the best man. Good evening and welcome to the Mobley wedding reception. I would first like to thank the parents of Connor and Maria, Mitch and Kelly, and uh, Steve and Christine. You have made this night possible. The sacrifices you have made and love you have given has molded these two into the people they are today. You have raised them to the best of your ability. <laughs> hey, I'm crying too often. <laughs> All right, man. This is too much. <laughs> you raise them to the best of your ability in the hopes 
and you one day hand them off to the person of their dreams. Today is that day. I met Connor the first day of high school. My first class was gym. As the freshman arrived to class, the principal lady came over to the intercom. <laughs> she said that we, were, we may be in class with people that we knew, but encouraged us to make new friends. To my left was Connor Mobley. He had this faux hawk looking thing. Which <laughs> right there. <laughs> and these big earrings and these big worn shoes. I looked like a janitor to hit somebody over the head with a wet mouth. <laughs> Polar opposites. I'm a little sarcastic if some of you know, so I said, hey, would you like to be my new friend? <laughs> Laughed. He was a little uncomfortable. He smiled and said, Sure, I'm Connor. I replied, Austin. We shook hands. I didn't realize the short introduction would land me right here in front of all of you. That day, I met one of the most genuine and loving people I've ever met in my life. Fast forward to our senior year. Believe it or not, Connor and I made more than one friend. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> I had chemistry class with one of those people. His name was Rob. I had seen this guy several times that day, so I knew he was there. As chemistry class began, Rob's seat remained vacant. I began to wonder what had happened to him. That's when my pocket started to vibrate. And we went to Catholic school, so if you pulled out your cell phone, you got detention. So I excused myself to the bathroom. When I got to the bathroom, I started to see the messages. Uh, one being from Connor asking where I was. I was a little confused because like me, he was supposed to be in class. <laughs> then I got a picture from Rob of Connor in my driveway. <laughs> and came a text about letting my dog out. And I received a picture of that dog with a stick in her mouth. <laughs> Having a good old time with my friends at my house in my driveway all while I'm standing in the bathroom at school where I'm supposed to be where you were not infuriated and texted Connor and asked why they were at my house playing with my dog he replied oh Rob didn't tell you at that moment, I knew I would be stuck with these jerks for the rest of my life. <laughs> this is just one story in the book of Connor and Austin. I only remember it because I'm still mad about it. <laughs> I fetched with my damn dog in my yard, and nobody invited me. <laughs> Speaking of fetch, Maria Mobley. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> Before they started dating, a game of pool in Connor's basement would last roughly 20 minutes. After they started dating, it would be about two days. <laughs> because Connor spent most of the time sitting in his chair giggling in his phone, probably giving the old uh, Connor Mobley smile. I would assume he was messaging Maria back and forth. It was pretty annoying. <laughs> Sporadically, after I'd be sitting there for 15 or 20 minutes, he'd look up from his phone saying, Oh, is it my turn? <laughs> what am I, stripes or solids? <laughs> it's such, it's such a bomb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Maria is as close to a sister as I would want to get. She's beautiful, annoying, oh. <laughs> has the biggest heart of anyone I know. Until recently, 
She's been working with special needs kids, selflessly catering to their every need, ensuring that they receive the best care possible. She is exactly the type of person that is right for my friend Connor. I wish you both nothing but the best and your lifelong commitment to each other. Always remember, Amber and I will be down the street from you guys. And never be afraid to call, stay or night. We will always be there for you. Uh, Mrs. Marshall, I believe you have something for me. Oh, it's on the table. It's on the table. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, not that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, picture that Connor and I got. Connor, you know what it is? It's a caricature from senior night. <laughs> you can put that on your mantle. That is Without further ado, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Connor Mobley. Father Gerber didn't show up tonight, so I guess I'll be doing the prayer. <laughs> but before I do, I just wanted to say welcome to all the, our friends, family, and thank you to uh, Kelly and Mitch Mobley for the nice rehearsal dinner and for all the help and support they've provided. And thank you to my sister, Mary Jo, that has done all the decorations and the flowers. Yeah. And to my brother, who's going to be DJing, unless he plays the duck dance, then this is all over. <laughs> oh, and also, I've been dared to say that I wanted to say thank you to my cousin Marie, who's sitting over there, gave me a haircut yesterday. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. So anyway, I'll just uh, try to be brief here. I need people to talk before dinner, so I'll try to keep this to below 45 minutes or so. <laughs> But I'll just tell one story about each one of them, and we'll be done. So, Connor, you almost killed my family last year. <laughs> We're on vacation. I'm driving the minivan 70 miles an hour down the highway, and I hear something in the back, third row, someone screaming like a girl. <laughs> Apparently, Connor saw a spider. <laughs> Two, two seconds later, he's in my lap while I'm trying to drive the street. So, you guys got to work on that. And I'd, um, I'm not sure, sometimes you're not sure when people are made for each other, but I've seen Maria and Connor together, and I've seen them in love with each other. I've seen them being nice to each other. I've seen them arguing and fighting with each other. So I know they're ready for marriage. <laughs> That's my biggest fan. Right there. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to wish Maria and Connor the best of everything. You deserve it. You're a couple of great people. Okay. And Connor, ever since she's been little, I've been giving her piggyback rides to bed, so we had to cut that out at about 18, but she might start up again, so you know. <laughs> so I'll just say a quick prayer, and uh, we'll be ready to eat. In Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord, Amen. In Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen, and I hope everybody enjoys themselves. All right, thanks, Steve. At this time, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to uh, Lake St. Louis Bank this time. We have myself, Bob, Jim, my wife, Jan, our staff, everyone here, guys. Let's hear a great round of applause. Con Maria, congratulations.
We are uh, here at the lake. Why don't you have a great time this evening? Thank you. That's the best shot. There it is. <laughs> I'm just trying to get y'all stuff in your face. It's all good. Thank you. Take one more TV. The only thing I'm standing in line for is open bar. <laughs> together as husband and wife.
congratulations. Now Maria would like to dance with her dad. Said he was busy, but...
Can we have all the bridal party? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Where's Brittany? Brittany! There you go. 
not going to throw this till I say three. And I'm going to count. And I want to see the ladies fight over this bouquet. We have all the single ladies? Alright, here we go. On the count of three. One.
Any last words? Any? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any last words for him? I don't think any so. Any advice? <laughs> Yeah. Who do we have? 